day, boys and girls. My name is Peter Ness, and I'm your survival expert. Today on Man vs. Wilderness, I'm going to show you all what it takes to survive in the most dangerous situations the wilderness has to offer. I'm going to battle the most dangerous places someone without the proper training wouldn't last a day. Today we find ourselves in Skyrim, where lethal animals and crazy psychopaths are lurking behind every corner. So the things you will see in this video will be quite dangerous, so I would not recommend it to try it out at home. So with that said, I want to welcome you all to the first season of Pizza Ness in the Wilderness. Good morning there mates, Pizza Ness here, the survival expert. I just woke up, it's a really early morning. And as you can see outside, it's going to be a lovely day for some hunting. Yesterday I got reports of uh, some rabbit attacks close to the farms. The rumours say they have been eating the crops, hurting everybody's feelings and stealing all the jewellery. And this is really a good indicator of some rabbits. It's uh, weird how it works, but the Skyrim people actually sleep with their eyes open since the rabbit attacks. So of course they contacted me, the survival expert, to get a professional opinion on what we should do in this situation. Luckily enough, the local smith promised to gear me up with some basic gear to be able to survive in the wilderness. So I guess first things first, let's head down into the smith and see what he got for us. He told me he would leave it down here in the cart. Would you look at that, what a nice job he did with this bow, and also some arrows and a dagger. Of course I could make this myself, but this is making my job a hell of a lot easier. I've been getting reports of rabbit attacks close to the waters, but that is pretty obvious because of the rabbit's background being crabs. It's weird how it works, but after thousands and thousands of years, they have actually evolved into rabbits and land creatures. They used to have claws and six legs. We have been out here in the woods now for about two minutes, and I'm completely starving. Oh, Crocky, mate! Would you look at that? What a beautiful fox! We have to equip our bow. Okay, we have to aim, see if we can take it down. Oh, Crocky, mate! I got it right between the eyes. Oh, could you hear that, guys? It seems like the legend is true. According to the legend, if you kill a vampire fox, you will actually release its soul into the gods. I thought that was a rumor, but it seems like it's debunked now. Oh, Crocky, mate! Would you look at this? Oh, here you can clearly see indications of the murder rabbits. They usually take down the mammoths in groups, Hundreds and hundreds of mammoths are actually killed every year by these rabbits. They eat their flesh for energy and then they use their skin and tusks to dress up as humans and other mammoths. This really reminds me that there's no such thing as a safe zone inside these parts of the woods. I'm going to have to snook around a little bit and see if we can find out in which direction the rabbits went. It seems like they headed up north, which is kind of weird. I have never seen reports of rabbits around these parts. Oh, crikey! Look at this. What a beautiful cave. It's actually getting quite dark, and I'm scared of the dark because of ghosts. So we're- Oh, crikey, mate! Would you look at that? Oh, what a beautiful creature. As you can see, I don't have any more arrows, so I have to make myself some more. There's no going back now to the camp. We're already miles away. So I'm gonna cook myself some dinner and take a sleep for the night because it's actually getting quite dark. These caves might look really cozy and warm, but they're not really that warm. So we're going to have to make a fire of some sort. And to make a fire, we're going to need some firewood. But it shouldn't be too hard to find some. A lot of people may actually think it's really hard to make some arrows, but it's not too hard. You just take your dagger and you smash it against the fibers of the firewood. And look at that! That is how you make arrows. This is going to be plenty for tomorrow. Now, I need to get some sleep. I'm going to go to bed. Sleep tight. And sleep nice. Or 
or oh, good morning mates we just woke up now didn't get much sleep at all slept one eye open all night the warmth of the fire kept me warm all night it also seems like someone had been messing around with my bow in the sleep hopefully not rabbits but it's no reason to get mad hopefully they haven't put on some kind of track on me because I don't want them to escape because if I can't take them down no one can we're gonna gear up put off the fire and get going it's a new day with new possibilities and there's no time to sleep when there's job around oh it's really early I'm feeling hungry hopefully we can find something soon oh go crikey look at that oh it's been so close to the camp all night okay this is the time you don't want to panic I need to apply my hunter skills this cold will even make it hard to aim See if we can take him down. Really need to be careful now. Oh, it's such a beauty. Why, oh, I really, I am really fascinated by these creatures. Okay. Oh, I think I hit something. They gotta take him down before it's too late. Oh, shit. Oh, crocky, mate. Right in the back. Oh, yes. This is a great sign. This might mean we can actually do some experiments on their brains to see where their intelligence come from. Great, we're going to break this back to camp, and we'll see if we can find out something about it. It seems like the arrow has penetrated through the rabbit and down into the ground. Oh, he's even stuck inside the ground from the arrow. Well, sometimes this happens, and there's nothing you can do about it other than to get a new shot. That's really a bummer, we had so many possibilities with this one. But sometimes you just gotta be defeated. We'll see if we can find his mates, because they usually walk in groups. It's weird how we found it up here in the mountains. As I said, they were crab creatures. But the rumors actually has it that they climb up the higher mountains that we're able to contact the aliens in an easier way. The nature is really a fascinating place. Oh, here we go, mate. I see some mammoths. This is a great indicator. Oh, there you go, Crocky! Look at that, I can see the rabbit. He's actually trying to sneak up on the mammoths. Stay calm, try to sneak a little bit closer, see if we can see and find out what it's actually trying to do. I can really feel that the mammoths are sensing danger. Hopefully they won't think that part of the rabbit group and go rogue. Okay, seems like it's planning to cl Oh, Crocky, it's really close now. Need to try to take it down. Oh, Crocky, he just made a turn. Oh, you can see he's making a run for it really fast and this is something you have to be careful of when you're trying to escape one of them really need to be careful might be trying to lure me into some kind of a trap oh crikey there he is i'm gonna try to take him down with the dagger this time he's not getting away oh there we go guys there we go on a high shot right in the neck lovely beautiful perfect kill this one is going back to riverwood Really happy about that one. We're hunting this now for a long time. Feels really good when you have a mission complete. Now it's only one more thing to do. And that is to get back to Riverwood in one piece. Let's go. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm quite lost. I've been walking for hours. Getting quite cold. I haven't found any shelter. But luckily enough for find these firewoods. Going to have to build some kind of a shelter for me. So what I usually say is that anything is possible with a great foundation. See if we can get this right. Alright, there we go mate. Nothing out of the ordinary. But I think we'll get the job done. Actually took the extra time to grow some crops. For some nice potatoes in the morning. So in the inside, it actually as I said, nothing out of the ordinary. But I think it will get the job done. Here we got some nice protein for the night, rabbit legs and a cooked one as well. I usually eat them raw because it's a lot more manlier. Here we got some bread as well, made some bread and uh, brewed some wine. Actually have a stew here as well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Here we got a shin trophy, grew some garlic. Something that I always find time to do at night and evening is some squats. As you all know, you should never skip leg day. And that's something not an even survival expert will do. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the first season and the first episode of Man vs. Wilderness. But it's a new day tomorrow and I should really go get some sleep. So I want to thank you all for watching the first episode 
Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.